Bitter Video Tutorial As an advertiser, you want to avoid wasting money displaying your ads in ad zones that don't get conversions. Although we offer detailed statistics to help you analyze all your sources of traffic, it is true that optimizing your campaigns can be very time-consuming, especially if you are buying traffic from multiple zones. That's why ExoClick has the Bidder, a smart assistant that helps you save time by optimizing your bids according to your target CPA and by automatically blocking the sources of traffic that don't meet your expectations. In this tutorial, we will show you how to enable Bidder and how to make the most from its features. When you create a Bidder algorithm, you have two available settings, Automatic Bidding Optimization and Blocking Rules. Automatic bidding optimization intelligently adjusts the bids for ad zones according to how many conversions they get and removes those who don't convert, whereas blocking rules can block zones, sites, countries and many other targeting settings according to the rules of your choice. You can decide whether you want to use both settings or just one of them. Part 1. Automatic Bidding Optimization Before you can enable automatic bidding optimization in a campaign, make sure that you are tracking conversions with at least one goal, either through S2S tracking or pixel tracking. In order to set the target CPA that will be used by the bidder, you have two options, either use the goal's conversions value or set the target conversion value manually. Note that the option to use the goal's conversion value will only be available if your goal has fixed or dynamic value. After that, set up the maximum budget you are willing to spend before the optimization starts. There are three options. Automatic sets the test budget at five times the target CPA. Set maximum, which allows you to set up your custom maximum budget. No maximum, which won't block any zones as they can spend without limitations. Once you enable automatic bidding optimization, it will adjust the CPC, CPM or CPV bids up or down to keep them under the target CPA for the selected goal. To do this, the bidder will need some information to work with, so it needs to run the campaign for some time before optimization begins. Bidder will begin optimizing when one of the following conditions is met. The zone has generated at least three conversions. The zone has generated less than three conversions but has reached the maximum test budget. The zone has not generated any conversions and has reached the maximum test budget. In the first and second scenario, the bidder will adjust the bid to try meeting the target CPA, either by increasing or decreasing the price in that zone. In the third scenario, the ad zone will be blocked in the campaign and will remain this way until you decide to disable bidder. As the campaign progresses through time, the bidder will take data from the last 30 days and will perform several bid optimizations every hour. You can check these changes in bid optimization through the bidder history. Part 2. Blocking Rules You can create rules options that determine which items get blocked automatically. The available items to block through these rules are zones, sites, operating systems, carriers, languages, devices, countries and browsers, with more items coming in the future. These rules are applied once the selected item has reached the number of impressions, clicks or spending indicated here and they will take into consideration the CTR, clicks, conversions, ECPA or ROI from that item. For instance, you can create a rule that blocks a language after 20 euros of spending if no conversions are generated. This can be useful when running campaigns targeting worldwide, or when targeting a country that has multiple official languages. Note that, if you select a metric that is based on a goal, you also need to select which specific goal you will use for that rule. You can add up to 10 blocking rules to your bidder algorithm and each rule is applied in an or basis, which means that whatever rule meets the condition first will block the item. In the bidder history, you can find out which rule was the one that blocked the item. Part 3. Enabling Bidder in a Campaign Once you have selected your settings for your Bidder algorithm, click Create to make this algorithm available for your campaigns. You will find the option to enable Bidder in Step 4 from your campaign settings. You can also edit this algorithm or create a new one in this section from campaign settings. Note that you can keep zone targeting enabled with Bidder. If you are targeting specific zones and enable bidder, then the bidder will optimize only the zones you have selected and remove from your targeting the zones when they stop being profitable. Alternatively, if you already have a blacklist of zones, then this blacklist will be respected by the bidder. Lastly, please note that it is not possible to reuse the results of the bidder on another campaign because each campaign is optimized individually. So, whenever you enable bidder in a campaign, the optimizations will be defined exclusively for that campaign. Thanks for watching this video.